it's Sabrina Oxford here, and we are looking for the King and Queen of Kindness. If you feel you are the King and Queen of Kindness, go to proofscholarships.org, Finding the Worthy. Find out more and send in your video for a Texas Show Showdown on the King and Queen of Kindness. Hi, my name is Julia Love. I want to talk about random act of kindness. And I want to say my son, Jaden Onwakor, he is nine years old and he is one of the kindest soul I've ever met. So three things he's done. Um, he's always, always helping me. Uh, and then his sister, um, I'm a single mom of two and he's always doing um, dishes and cooking uh, some meals, um, getting trash, like just carrying her, carrying his sister and talking to her, taking care of her. So just like really overall like helping. And also um, last year when we did a random act of kindness challenge, he bought a flower and then he gave a flower to a random person and then we really made her and her family's day. And then the third thing is that recently we had a project um, to help people in Nigeria during the pandemic. Um, COVID-19, the, um, the Nigerian government's not really helping people and then people are starving uh, rather than dying by the coronavirus. So we had a friend who was donating money to buy food. So uh, my son, um, he gave um, some money from his saving to help people in Nigeria. So that was very kind. And um, we went through, I went through pretty tough divorce and then um, the wisdom that he had was uh, when my ex-husband left, he told me, um, mommy, tomorrow is a different day and I just need more time to grow up to become a MLB player and um, take care of you. So that really made me cry. And I think um, overall, even if you're going through adversity and challenges in your life, some people just stay kind and stay positive and then my son uh, really stayed positive to me and then to my ex-husband and then being very very kind and then mature about the situation so i really appreciate him so shout out to my son Jaden. <laughs> Oh, hello there. My name is How to Propose Creatively. Which book are you? Salutations. I am Angelic Messages. 
just another wonderful book by Sabrina Oxford. I am so excited for us to be on Lulu.com Sabrina Oxford. Yes, Sabrina Oxford wrote some smart books. And many of us are able to be purchased from Lulu.com slash Sabrina Oxford. Yes, and we are so smartly priced at only $14.99. These quick read books Sabrina Oxford has put together make wonderful gifts that can be shipped right to the receiver. I deliver some awesome one-liners to live a better life. And I have very easy and creative ways to offer those wanting to propose to their would-be spouse. From egg hunts, to boat rides and sky writing, to wine bottles they are all fun to do. I have great lines to enlighten your soul. Like, angels bless your requests for others before they bless your own. And see another with the eyes in your heart over the eyes in your head. Anyone can go to lulu.com slash Sabrina Oxford and purchase me. I make wonderful gifts for any time of the year. Sounds like you would be perfect for someone wanting to get married. I am pleased Sabrina Oxford created me. She helps folks all over the world create their dreams and those who buy us get to be a part of her own dreams being created and only for $14.99. location in Los Angeles is San Gabriel. I live in San Gabriel. Well, here is my story. I have been working in pro bono public relations since 2012. That was the year I became a Screen Actors Guild act actress. And I was told I was a famous extra, but you know, my passion project is, you know, I went to college. I thought I'd be a teacher for the rest of my life. And that's what I studied. I worked as a substitute teacher for, you know, um, seven school districts, which is a lot. Plus I they hired me as an adult um, teach. Uh, I taught adult school at night. So it was juggling seven school districts and thousands of kids all at once and thousands of grade levels from, you know, um, daycare, kindergarten, all the way to 12th grade and, and then the adults at night. So I was a busy, I was really busy. Uh, but after that, I worked at American Radio Network. But, you know, my heart was always into you know, even though I would, was in the Screen Actors Guild, that's how I made money because when I was at working in radio, they said, you know, you have a great voice. It looks like you can act. Why don't, you know, you go for it? And that's what I did. So, um, but, you know, I've never really left the kind of teaching experience. I just became a newly ordained minister. Um, I know just about every VIP in the world. I kid you not. Um, I have in my golden Rolodex of 3,000 plus Hollywood celebrities, royals, politicians, I know Trump, Sanders, everyone, every single one of the Windsors. I know King Felipe, Kim Jong-un. And you know, the thing I do is like when I have my friends who are Democrats and Republicans and are different sides and are competing like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, you know, and Bernie Sanders, and I've told them this, you know, I've set up groups, messaging groups, and I've gotten all my Hollywood celebrities together. I said, I know we're all trying to make a fast buck, but, um, you know, outside of that professionalism, you know, whether you're Christian or not, we can come together and let down our guards and show our vulnerability and be friends outside of that world. And, you know, that's the same thing I do with all our politician friends and all of my royal friends. So I do have a really good reputation. And ironically, I'm famous to the famous and you can Google me these days, although I haven't come out yet. <laughs> um, I could tell you some crazy stories. Um, you might doubt their veracity, like a... Uh, Elizabeth wanted me to marry Prince Andrew, whom I've been friends with, and we've been talking about. You know, I could tell you those crazy stories. I have the Queen's email, and you know, she follows me on Twitter, and yeah, I'm very well connected, and yes, I check my sources, but you know, that is not my first marriage proposal. I got to tell you, and I could drop some famous names on you. Everyone thinks because, you know, I was a teacher very proper, I have a really good Christian heart, and I just became a newly ordained minister, that I'm the greatest catch ever, so, um, but the thing is, you know, I love getting my politician friends together, my royal friends together. And, you know, these days I just need a greater platform because, um, you know, I know Joel Olstein. I'm friends with him as well. Um, but I told Mr. Trump and I told the 
royal family, you know, I might be prime minister material, but I need a greater platform because I can preach to you guys all day long. And, you know, I have my own Facebook page, which you can check out under Grace Arabella Lee. I can preach to you guys all day long, but the point is, I I can preach to you all day long, but the thing is, I, I need a greater voice in the world. I can only do so much in the background. And I told the queen and I told, you know, Tony Blair and just everyone who's important I know. And, you know, it's just something where, you know, I need a greater voice. I need a greater form. I can only do so much in the backstage. And I'm not trying to be a Kate Middleton because I don't see myself shaking hands, but, you know, a lot of the brunt work, a lot of the political work, a lot of the paperwork comes through me. Everyone knows that I'm like the hub of their station. I, you know, Donald Trump, I sent him ideas. He seems cool with stuff that I've suggested. But a lot of the bulk political work and a lot of the, you know, ideas do come from me and I'm responsible for getting world leaders together. And so, yeah, I'm famous and I should be a lot more famous than I am, but that is my story to tell and I'm so glad to get to know you guys as well. Thank you so much for your time. Have you heard the news yet? Which news is that, dear? I just got back from the hair salon. I heard Betty telling Sally about Sabrina Oxford's new book, How to Propose Creatively. Why is this good news? We are already married. I heard Betty say the 10,000th gets a three-day, tonight cruise, until 250,000 books are sold, 25 trips. 
All we have to do is golulu.com. Frontward slash. Sabrina Oxford. So, we go to lulu.com. Frontward slash. Sabrina Oxford to order this book. Then lulu.com. Sabrina Oxford waits for the 10,000 order, contacts them, and pays for their crews. Or, you can get the instant download. It is almost half the price, and still qualifies for one the trips. The SOS team adds each gift from Sabrina Profits. Sabrina is an awesome soul. We should get a copy, just to help her. Let us buy this book, The Queen of Kindness. Miss Oxford wrote, how to propose creatively. Disc, disc, you cannot fool your wife. We have been married too long. You just want the gift too. Maybe, or maybe I want to propose all over again. Worthy. Help to shape Sabrina Oxford into the person she is today. And the goals she dreams of completing throughout her life. Each Karma Chip Receiver is loved by her in a special manner, and they all have taught her some kind of lesson which has she is grateful for. Even those wrote about in the chapter, Trade.